Well, good morning and welcome to the next of our videos. Um, as you can see, I've moved location due to Boris's uh, announcement last night and we're working from home now and no prizes for guessing whose bedroom I've taken over. Um, just to say again, this is a wee video to try and help you with your quiet times. This is not in place of your quiet times. And so if you're following church reading plan, um, today's readings, chapter date is 24th of March, Tuesday 24th of March, and the readings are Exodus 35 and John 14. So if you haven't read Exodus 35 and John 14 yet, please go and do that, and then uh, you can restart the video and watch again. As I said yesterday, I'm not going to go through all of the different chapters, I'm just going to look at uh, one uh, few verses particular and today I'm wanting to look at John 14. Uh, I found these verses particularly helpful this morning. So John 14 and the verse I want to focus on um, is verse 27, the second half of verse 27 but I'll start at the beginning of it. It says peace. This is Lord Jesus speaking to his disciples less than 24 hours before his crucifixion. He says peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And these words come from Jesus. And if we just heard those words, do not uh, let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid, we would be thinking, right, I need to, to grip my teeth and try really hard and make sure that I'm not afraid and I'm not being troubled. Uh, this announcement from Boris Johnson scares the living daylights out of me. It means I'm going to be trapped in my house. And I'm, I'm scared, but Jesus says I'm not to be afraid, and so I need to grip my teeth, and I need to try really hard and not be afraid. But that's not what Jesus is saying. And to understand what Jesus is saying, we need to see it in the context uh, that he's talking to them. He's saying to his disciples, I'm going away from you. I'm going to be far away from you. I'm going to be crucified. I'm going to rise. I'm going to ascend and be seated at the right hand of the Father. But. He says, I will send another to be with you. I will send another advocate to be with you and to be in you. And he's speaking about the Holy Spirit there. He says, I won't leave you as orphans, but I will come and live in you by my spirit. He says to them, uh, the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit will be in you and minister to you and minister to you all the things that Jesus has said and remind you of all the things that Jesus has said. And then he says, peace I leave with you. You can have peace because the Holy Spirit is in you and with you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So as we face these uncertain times, as we face difficulty, as we face being alone in our house, as we face all these different things, it is such a comfort to know that the Holy Spirit is with you. You can be cut off from every human being. But you can never be cut off from God. He, by his Spirit, is living in you. This other advocate, this one who's been sent so that we are not as orphans, but that we still have God, always have God with us. And it's in that that we have peace. And it's in that that we can have comfort. And it's in that that we don't let our hearts be troubled. And it's in that that we're not afraid. Isn't that a wonderful comfort for us this Tuesday morning? So let's uh, pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you that even although we're separated from one another, we cannot be separated from you, that you have sent your Holy Spirit into the world, another advocate to be with us and to be in us. And we thank you that in him we have peace. So, Father, please help us. Please help our hearts not to be troubled. Please help us not to fear. Help us to put our hope and our trust in you and in you alone. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope. Uh, this wee message has been some blessing to you and I'd like to give you a wee challenge now. Uh, please do go and reflect on the verses yourself, reflect on your whole Bible reading from today and then phone somebody. 
phone someone else in the church, phone a Christian friend, share something that God has said to you today, something which he has spoken to help you. And may you minister to one another. I hope you're well and I hope that we will see each other again soon. But in the meantime, uh, God be with you and may that be your peace. God bless.